What did I say 10 hours back in my morning analysis with the Isha session for gold? I told you that gold may drop and we were looking forward to 1745 first target and below that also it is possible for it to drop till 1740 and 1735 levels. Precisely, gold has seen a good drop trading again at 1745 levels. I hope you all profited. Likewise, US 30 and US 100 trading within a range. I hope you all profited in this. Now, what is going to happen with the US cash station? Which position you should take? We will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators. Missing on to subscribe this channel? Definitely, you are missing on the profit. Do not commit this mistake by not subscribing. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. And let's start the day. See, first we look into... Now these are the early charts for gold and you can see it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands and it has breached this level but again trading at the support level. This is a precise uh, very strong support level so I have told you several times 1744-45 I told you this in the morning also and now it is trying to see a little rise. How far this can retrace? See it has got its resistance here and then here at 1750 and then again 1754-55. Let's see if it does this zone. Yes, probably we can try to see a little rise in gold. We can see it is retracing till towards 1748 and then 1750 levels. Possibly it may try to in fact achieve higher still towards 1754-55. But at the same time, if it breaks this zone at 1742-43, yes, the next target is towards 1740 levels. And in fact, if it breaks this, you can expect it to drop till towards 1735. But then as I said in the morning, it may close the week at around 1745-47 zone only. Directional movement is bearish. It is trying to converge. The stochastic is oversold. That is why we are looking forward to a rise here. MACD is down and RSI is almost hit a bottom trying to bounce back from here. This is on the hourly charts. Let's have a look at the 2 hour charts. On the 2 hour charts you can find out. See after a little consolidation it has seen a good breakout. Three, uh, 2 red candles bigger and increasing in nature and this is the third red candle so once it tries to break beyond 1748 you can expect 1750 1752 see this zone at 1755 57 it should not breach if it breaches this zone at 1755 57 it may again turn bullish right now it is trying to uh, trade within these levels i don't think so that it is going to break these levels let's have a more detailed look directional movement is bearish it is divergent stochastic is oversold macd is divergent and it is bearish and rsi is almost comfortable there and if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts too see after a bit of consolidation this is the first breakout candle we can expect this to be the next uh, red candle itself and we can expect that it may try to come back till towards 1742 and 1740 very strong support and then below that if it breaks 1740 you can expect it to drop till towards 1735 levels which is a very strong support directional movement is bearish it is divergent stochastic is oversold macd has just crossed over on the 3 hour charts and it is divergent and it is indicative that it is still got some bearishness there. RSI is comfortable there. And look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts too. After this, see, one red candle, little consolidation, second red candle and now trying to take the support from these levels precisely at around 1745 levels. So yes, once it trades below, we can expect it to further drop till towards 1740 and 1735. 1735 is definitely a very strong support. At the same time, we must not forget that if it retraces beyond this zone, 1755-57, if you see it trading above this, you can go long and then consider that is reversal. I don't think that it is going to happen. Probably even if it rises, it may get the resistance at around 1750-1752 zone, which is going to be a very strong resistance. Yes, above 1748, you can take... Uh, a uh, long entry but see i i'll not recommend but you have if you want to risk a little you can take a long entry at 1748 but then you you should be only try to exiting at uh, within two dollars or four dollars of move between 1750 1752 it may achieve and only if it breaks past 1755 57 you can consider that as bullish but till then you have to trade with the stop loss at cost such that in case of reversal because i think it is bearish and it i still see that it may try to drop but then you have to trade with the stop loss at cost directional movement is bearish on the four hour charts MACD is on the verge of a crossover we must see a crossover and this four hour candle must trade in red rsi trading flat here now look at the daily charts 
on the daily charts i told you below 1755 you can go short and then you can expect that it may try to come back till towards 1745 i think it has seen the highs and the lows for the day precisely it may try to trade within and yes if it breaks below this zone at 1740 445 possibly you can see it coming back till towards 1740 very strong support and then 1735 very strong support wherever it goes it may try to bounce back again directional movement bearish stochastic is near to overbought levels but not overbought MACD is bearish it is still trading with a little divergence and RSI is looking downwards considering this see it is seen the lows it is trying to reverse and retrace a little on the upside but then uh, yes, you can take a long entry or buy entry at 1748, but then you have to be very cautious within just two dollars. You have to exist that is first resistance at 1750, beyond that 1752, and then 1755-56 zone. So if it breaks beyond 1755-56-57 levels, then you can consider that as a bullish move. Else, till the time it trades below these levels, possibly it can again try to drop. You have to be very cautious with your position. Beyond 1757, definitely it will fly high. So yes, you can trade with the stop loss till then. You can go long at 1748. Go short at only 1742 levels. If you see it dropping below 1742, you can go short. But then you have to get out at only $2, 1740. Very strong support. 1735 is the next strong support. So yes, if you see it at 1740, either exit or either put the stop loss at cost there and then let it fall till towards 1735. Remember, it can bounce back and as I shared, it can try to close the week at around 1745-47 levels only. So if you see it rising or closing, possibility exists, higher chance exists that it may try to close at around 1745-47, which is a very strong support area. So take your positions accordingly and trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at NASDAQ 100. And yes, if you also want to learn the art of trading profitably, you can join my mentorship batch 15 days, 90 minutes daily and a lifetime support is what you get. Definitely, it will help you become profitable and proficient trader. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email ID is mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, I have started this mentorship or membership tiers in my pattern page where one is the support tier. Next is the advanced tier where you can consult me for any of your trading issues or trading positions or you can or you will also get the signals out there so you can become a pattern uh, join this mentorship badge join this membership tiers the link is mentioned in the channel and video description now look at the hourly charts on us 100 see on the hourly charts on us 100 it is precisely if you look at this see this is the support zone and if you connect the bottoms out there this is the support zone precisely trading within this bullish channel on the hourly chart so i'll look forward for it to break below 13050 if it does yes you can go short till the time it trades above 13050 see it has seen red candles and it is trying to reverse on the hourly chart how far see even if it is bearish and it may try to trade on this it may try to get the resistance here at 13100 uh, 2030 zone which is a stronger resistance only if it breaks past 13150 you can consider that as bullish and it may try to rise so in between 13150 and 13050 we have to exercise caution while taking any position directional movement is moderately bullish stochastic is looking upwards the MACD is divergent and it is bearish RSI trading flat and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts to see very strong support at 13050 only if it breaks below 13050 consider that as a strong bearish move and then we can expect it to hit 13000 and 12970 very strong support there at 12970 and below that we may see a, again a fall also look at this on the two hour charts it has seen four red candles and it is looking forward to a fall which it is which is in this shape now here look at the previous candle and this candle see it has already seen the lows out there it has seen the highs out there so the pivot at around 13080 it may come back to these levels and once it drops below 13080 again it may try to attempt and achieve 13050 levels below 13050 you can expect a stronger drop on the downside see it is giving you this fall and whenever you see such fall it is the bottom is always open on this and then it can try to retrace again and if you see it trading above 13130 140 zone you can try to initiate a long entry but remember 13150 is going to be the stronger resistance there on the upside directional movement moderately bullish stochastic at bottom there on the two hour charts MACD on the verge of a crossover after long time and if it crosses over we may see a strong bearish move on the downside RSI is trading flat likewise if you see on the three hour charts now look at the 3 hour charts 
see on the three hour charts again this is the fall there and the downside is open getting the support precisely from these levels trying to if it breaches below 13050 it will call for a further drop also at the same time we must not forget see it is giving a lower high and if it breaches past 13130 probably that is a level beyond which you can expect 13150 as the stronger resistance and then it can try to come back to 13180 and 200 see 13200 is the ultimate resistance for the day if it tries to rise also look at the 3 hour chart see if you connect the bottom out there it is almost seen that it is seen the bottom out there probably from if it draws below 13050 it may get the resistance at 13010 and 13,000 levels and below that 12,970 is the ultimate level. Below that it will directly fall for 13, uh, 12,900 levels. Directly in movement, moderately bullish, stochastic looking vertically down. MACD is on the verge of a crossover there for a sell entry, RSI trading flat. Likewise on the 4 hour charts if you look at. Now look at the 4 hour charts. See it is still within this fall figure. And only breaches if it breaches 13130, you can consider that it is going to reverse, and then 13150 and 13200 levels can be expected till the time it trades below 13130, probably. And we may see 13050 giving it a support below 13050, it can try to take a vertical fall till towards 13000 levels. 13000 very strong support, 12970 very strong support below 12970, you can expect 12950 and 12900 levels. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic looking downwards, MACD is bullish trying to converge, RSI trading flat. And on the daily charts, see, it has seen lower highs and it is trying to trade with the top. Also look at these two candles, almost flat top and once it tries to give you flat top, it can come back to 13,000, very strong support, 12,970, very strong support, only if it drops below these levels, you can consider that as bearish and it may try to drop strongly below these levels, so you can take, once it trades beyond 13,150, definitely it will call for further bulls than 13,200, 250, in fact, 13,300 levels can be seen, directional movement, not indicative of anything, stochastic looking upwards, trying to come out of the oversold levels, and it has already successfully come out of these levels, the MACD is divergent and bearish RSI trading flat considering this yes you can go short below 13.0450 and you can go long above 13.130 rather I will say 13.150 is the safer long entry so if you see it trading above 13.130 expect 13.150 just 20 points then 13.180 and 13.200 to resistance level which it has to surpass only if it surpasses 13.200 level consider this as bullish and then 13.200 300 levels should be seen if not today then probably next week it may try to attempt and achieve 13300 levels also on the downside yes if it breaks below 13050 you can stay short and below 13050 first target is 13010 then 12970 and then 12950 12900 12900 very strong support out there and if it breaches we can see a stronger fall take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss probably we can see a little retracement on the downside but if it breaches past 13200 i'll be bullish out there so take your positions with caution trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss till then and trade accordingly now let's have a look at dow jones us 30 on the early charts has seen a strong resistance at 13300 i told you to long only if you see it trading beyond 13320 since then it has seen a good fall taking the support here at 13200 trying to rise again and see the previous candle lower lows has been achieved the pivot at around 13 see pivot at around 13230 and with that it is trying to swing a little 13260 13230 and then see if it tries to rise further it can probably get a stronger resistance till here at 13 to 33 280 290 levels be watchful of 33 280 290 only if it rises below 33 300 you should go long else till the time it trades below 33 300 possibly it may drop Directional movement bullish, stochastic looking upwards. The MACD is bearish, trying to trade with a little divergence. RSI trading flat. And if you look at the two R charts on the two R charts, see it is seen. So it is also giving you the same formation. Just be watchful. If it breaks past 33300, then only you should go long beyond 33300. Expect it to achieve 33400. And beyond 33400, 33500, 600 levels can also be seen. Only long entry is beyond 33300. Go long if you see it trading above 33300. Else with the stop loss at 30, 
33,300. Possibly you can expect it to drop a little. How far it can go? 33,150 uh, strong support and then 33,100.050 levels are next stronger support. Breaking below 33,000, you can again expect it to fall heavily. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic is again trying to look up first. MACD is bullish, trying to stay divergent. RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour chart see it is giving you lower highs and possibly till the time it trades below 33 to 80 300 levels you can expect it to remain bearish 33 150 100 and 050 levels are the target only long entries above 33 300 levels directional movement moderately just crossed over for a bullish move stochastic looking downwards the MACD is bullish trying to converge RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts see it has taken a support from the 200 period moving average at around 33,170 at the same time on the upside see the resistance there from the 100 period moving average might be seen in at 33,330 levels very strong resistance we have seen the previous resistance there and we have seen the highs at around these levels so even if it tries to rise beyond 33,300, possibly it can get the resistance at 33,330, 33,350 levels. Directional movement moderately indicative of. You can see it is just it is just trading in a bullish note, but very minor di divergence there. The stochastic is overbought on the four hour charts, looking downwards. The MACD is divergent and bullish. RSI is looking upwards, and if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts one must observe see it is given you a reversal yesterday and it is trying to trade with the highs out there remember it is trying to create a channel of its own and the highs at around 33300 320 zone probably till the time it trades below this zone it can again reverse and then you can see 33000 is the major support breaking below 33000 it can further drop till towards 32,900, 32,800 levels. Now look at the daily charts. Only long entry. I will recommend if you see it trading beyond this zone at 33,340, which is a 20 period moving average, which is going to be a stronger resistance till, till the time it trades below 33,340. Probably we can see it uh, dropping again. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic is looking up first. MACD is divergent and it is bullish, and uh, it is bearish. And RSI trading flat. Considering this, now see. Uh, yes, you can take a long entry above 33,300, but then you have to be very cautious till 33,330, 40, 50 levels. Till 33,350, it can reverse any point of time, and then above 33,350, definitely you can expect it to achieve 33,400 and 500 levels. So only long entries above 33,300 till the time it trades below 33,300, you can expect it to drop the support there on the downside at 33,150 is strong, and then below that 33. 050 and 33,000 levels should come into picture. If it draws below 33,000 today, it may call for a stronger drop on the downside. Take your positions accordingly. Trade with caution. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.